As Bethesda began gearing up marketing hype for the release of Fallout 4, they unironically embraced the mascot of vault Tech as their own sort of de facto mascot. With this new shift in marketing, the Vault Boy became far more visible to a much wider audience than ever before. But in this milieu of marketing hype surrounding Fallout 4, a myth suddenly appeared out of nowhere. For those of you interested in a more detailed look on the background of Vault Boy, please check out my previous video on the topic. While making that video, I came across this myth, but I decided to cover it in a separate video. The purpose of this video is to discuss and debunk this myth as best I can. You see, it all started about seven years ago. A user by the name of Captain Orange made this post on Reddit. The post reads as follows. If you see a mushroom cloud from an atomic bomb, you're supposed to stick your arm out and hold your thumb over the cloud. If the cloud is bigger than your thumb, you're in the radiation zone and should evacuate. This is what Vault Boy is doing in the Fallout series. This misinformation was upvoted three and a half thousand times and received 2.4 thousand comments. I didn't read every single one of the 2.4 thousand comments on this post, but I read through a number of them, and I did not see even a single person call bullshit on this or demand that proof be given. This Reddit post appears to be the origin of the great lie that persists to this day and will likely continue to persist for years to come, maybe forever. I will do what I can to try to correct the damage caused by this troll's misinformation, but my videos just don't get enough views to have much of an impact. But what I am able to do, I will try to do. What really poured gasoline on the fire of this lie is the fact that it was picked up by video game journalists who likely knew it was bullshit, but presented it as fact anyway because they want people to click on their clickbaity articles so they can make money. And they don't give a damn whether the information they are reporting is true or not. Either way, they get their paycheck and that's all they care about. H Bomber Guy was 100% correct in his Fallout 3 is Garbage video when he said, G Game journalism is unethical! The whole thing is a fucking nightmare mess! But to be fair, it isn't just game journalism that is unethical, but also journalism in general. But that's not the topic of this video, so I won't get into that can of worms. Take this article by SVG titled, Vault Boy's Thumbs Up Has a Deeper Meaning Than You Realized. Even the very title alone is misinformation, but it gets even worse. If you're a fan of the Fallout series, you're likely familiar with the Vault Boy shtick by now. Sure, the world is a nuclear wasteland. Everything and everyone you loved before is gone, and mutants will probably kill you. But everything is peachy. Thumbs up, says Vault Boy. Little did we know that thumbs up signal means a little more than we first thought. No, it is just exactly that. And you don't have to take my word for it, either. A few weeks ago, TKS Mantis put out a video titled, Most People Are Wrong About Vault Boy, where he shows that Brian Fargo had debunked this claim in a tweet. One of the Fallout series creators and Wasteland series lead, Brian Fargo, has confirmed this in a tweet saying, The Vault Boy simply has a positive attitude. And now we know. But knowing is only half the battle. There's a difference in knowing, and knowing well. When I watched Mantis's video, I thought, Brian Fargo was the producer of Fallout, but he wasn't directly involved in the creation of Vault Boy. Wouldn't it be better to ask someone who actually did create the Vault Boy character? After all, let's say you read a book, but you have some questions about something in the story, or about a character or whatever, would you ask the CEO of the company that published the book, or would you ask the author? Now, of course you could ask the CEO of the publishing company, and you may get the correct answer. 
But personally, I'd prefer to get the answer from the author directly. And that's why I posted this comment on Mantis's video. I tried to tell Mantis that it does matter who you get your information from. Just asking any random person involved in Fallout in any remote way may give you an answer. And it might even be the correct answer. But I think it's better to get it straight from the lion's mouth, so to speak. My comment was ignored, so I figured, why make a comment that will be ignored when instead I can make a video, which then gets ignored. So here we are. Coincidentally, while I was doing research for my previous video on the origins of Vault Boy, I found out that someone actually had tweeted the very same question to T. Ray Isaac, the self-proclaimed dad to Vault Boy and the one who refined and finalized the design of the character, even though Leonard Boyarsky did come up with the original concept. Long story short, T-Ray backed up what Brian Fargo had said, so that should pretty much eliminate all doubt that this internet rumor, which started about seven years ago on Reddit, is just a hoax by a creative troll and nothing more than that, and should not be taken seriously or given any credence whatsoever. But here we have this SVG site, which seems to present itself as a sort of professional gaming journalism website, and it is peddling this lie without question and without any evidence to back it up. The article continues. Once upon a time, when the world was on the brink of nuclear war, it's believed by whom? Wikipedia gets criticized a lot because of the fact that anyone can edit it, but at least on Wikipedia it is expected to provide sources to back up claims such as this. So who is this person, or people, that believe? That the US government gave citizens some pointers on how to remain safe in the event of an attack. If someone were to witness a nuclear blast, they were asked to hold their thumb up to the mushroom cloud in the distance and compare the two. If the mushroom cloud was larger than that person's thumb, that meant the blast dangerously close and an immediate evacuation was necessary. Bullshit. The US government never told people to wink at and give a thumbs up to a mushroom cloud. In fact, the government told citizens to do more the complete opposite. What did the government tell citizens to do in the event of a mushroom cloud? Duck and cover. He did what we all must learn to do. You and you and you and you. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. There was even a song and a cartoon character named Bert the Turtle that was created to help educate children to do this. The government may have done a lot of stupid stuff and evil stuff, but the government never told citizens to stand up like an idiot and wink at an atomic blast. Sundays, holidays, vacation time, we must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover! This family knows what to do, just as your own family should. They know that even a thin cloth helps protect them. Even a newspaper can save you from a bad burn. Yeah, I don't think a newspaper is going to protect you from third degree burns, or anything, really. Ducking and covering probably wouldn't help you too much, to be honest, but if nothing else, I guess it kept morale up and gave people hope that they might survive. In reality, you just wouldn't survive within a certain radius, whether you ducked and covered or not. But beyond a certain radius, it probably gave you a better chance of surviving than just standing there with your thumb up. If you happen to consider me to be just some mere vault alchemist, let me just say that you don't have to take my word for it. Inverse.com contacted an official spokesperson with the U.S. Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration, who responded by saying, quote, We have been unable to find any truth to the Internet rumor. End quote. 
So, there you have it. Even the government says this internet rumor is bullshit. And you can always trust your government, right? We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. The sad thing is that, if nuclear bombs really did start falling, and they actually may before too long, with the way things in the world are going, no one is being taught to duck and cover anymore. Common sense should tell you to seek shelter, but common sense really isn't all that common these days. A lot of people have heard this false internet rumor, and you know people would be doing that, and earning their Darwin Awards. The SVG article continues, That appears to be what Vault Boy is doing here. Pretty wild, right? After all these years, we're finally understanding that Vault Boy's weirdly happy thumbs up and wink might not be those at all. He's demonstrating what some thought to be the proper way to determine one's risk of being poisoned by nuclear radiation. Our minds are blown. No, that's not what he is doing at all. Both the producer of Fallout and the designer of Vault Boy have debunked and destroyed this myth. This professional game journalist named Sean Farner wrote this article in September of 2019, literally years after it was debunked, but he still wrote this garbage misinformation anyway. The article continues, It makes us wonder, is the Fallout franchise hiding any other mysteries in things that otherwise seem normal? We might have to dig around and see if there are any other nods to Cold War era survival tips in Fallout games or marketing materials. In the meantime, be sure to share this one with your friends. There's a good idea they probably didn't catch the significance of the thumbs up either. No. Do not, under any circumstances, share this article with your friends, at least if you value their lives. If anyone knows this guy, please tell him to stop lying to people. This misinformation has the potential to cost people their lives if they are ever in this situation. God forbid anyone does, but it could happen. But this guy just wants to clickbait for the ad revenue. This guy is scum, and he is living proof that game journalism is unethical. H-Bomber guy was right. And this Sean Farver guy is not the only one. Here's a similar article on GameRant.com by someone named Boston Blake. Credit where due, I did find this article here, written by Caitlin Grieve, who seems to have some journalistic integrity, unlike the others I've seen, because she explains it is just a hoax. The others did not, but she did. Maybe there's some hope for humanity yet. Vault Boy was created as a parody and a social commentary on the excesses of big corporations and government. He is the mascot of the fictional vault Tech Corporation. But from the time of Fallout 4 onward, something new and strange has happened. Bethesda has unironically adopted Vault Boy as their own de facto sort of mascot, at least when it comes to marketing Fallout-related products. The deeper meaning has either been ignored or went completely over their head. Like so many other things, Bethesda copied and pasted Vault Boy without understanding or respecting the meaning behind it. Vault Boy's iconic gesture of winking and giving a thumbs up originated in the manual for the original game. So what is Vault Boy doing as he winks and gives a thumbs up? Is he measuring up the size of a mushroom cloud? No. He is facing away from the mushroom cloud, in the direction of the observer. He is ducking and covering beneath a desk, just like he was instructed to do, and not some hoax fabricated by a Reddit troll many years later. If you believe just one thing I told you in this video, believe this, because it may one day save your life.